Hello, I'm Hans, and welcome to AHA Pictures, my YouTube TV channel. Today I want to show you how I'm going to import my animation um, video that I'm kind of compiling. And I'm actually doing behind the scenes making of a video, but I want to show you all the kind of the process steps that I do. What I'm going to do, I'm going to go in and import the footage into my video editing system. Okay, what I'm going to do here, this is my video editing system that I have opened up. And I am going to right click and I'm going to bring in my video file footage. I'm going to click on the video where I've captured my video into my computer. And I'm going to open it. And I'm just going to drag it onto to the video line and then here's my audio down here. Here I can just kind of drag and this is where I captured some video footage of me talking about my animation project and what I'm going to do I'm taking that footage and I'm bringing it into the editing system. So I'm, I brought all that into my video editing system and then I'm going to start um, editing it. Okay, what I want to show you today is I imported some animation, an animation logo model into my video editing system. And I want to show you how I'm going to overlay that uh, logo over top of my live footage of me. So we're going to get a close look up. Close look here on the computer. Here we have the video editing system. And I've already brought in the, my video footage of me talking here. And this is the making of behind the scenes of my animation project. And I am a hobbyist. And this is my logo, which is right here, that I made in my animation software. So we'll kind of scroll here. And this is what the animation software logo looks like that I built in 3D and we're going to overlay it on top of this footage. Click on the logo and say overlay option. Dialog box comes up and I am going to go with a, what is called chroma key and then I'm going to go in and I'm going to click on the green. Now as you can see you can see my new footage in the overlay preview window of and this is me in the background with an overlaid logo and as you can see there's a little bit of green so I'm going to clean up the the green around the logo because some of the green is still showing around here and let's see how this worked hello 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 so, so there you have it. That is chroma key over top of live footage. Okay, what I want to show you now is that I brought the logo and overlaid it on top of the live footage, but you notice that my face, that I that the logo was obstructing my my body as I was trying to speak to the camera. So I want to show you how I'm going to fix this. Okay, here here again you can see the logo over top of, of my live footage and I'm just going to scroll here oh, and show you how the this logo is coming right over top of my face and I don't want that. And I'm going to take, I'm going to grab this moving path. All these are moving paths here. These are primitive presets that come with your video editor system and I'm using um, what is called U-Lead Media Studio Pro. It's about a $600 editing system. So I'm going to grab this moving path here and I'm going to pull it and I'm going to drop it on my footage of my logo. Okay, so I've dropped the moving path onto the logo and then a 2D basic moving path dialog box comes up and as you can see here the logo is now even smaller because the width and the height is 360 width and 240 height which um, made the aspect ratio of the image smaller so I can control that logo. So over here is my dialog, my moving path dialog box. And we can look here that 
the logo is now rotating and then by using these control features here I can control where the video starts where the logo say I want the logo up here and then at the ending point say I don't want it to, to I don't want it to travel and translate down the logo I don't want it to translate down so I'm going to go to the first control point and I'm going to right click and copy and then I'm going to click on that control point on the end control point and paste now the logo of the motion control is going to stay right there the whole time while I'm talking here in the background it doesn't obscure me as much and then if I want to I can I can make it larger as well I can go back here to the front and I can say keep aspect ratio I can make it larger here just by hitting the up arrow and then it can roll in there and then get a little smaller and it gives it some really um, great three dimensional or or animated uh, effect so there's how you use a moving path to make something actually smaller and control the path of of where you want that object or logo to move now I'm just going to scroll and I'm going to show you how the moving path kept the logo over on this side instead of obscuring my entire face. Hello. Hello. Well, uh, for those who, who, who like, like the hey. I knocked the similarity up to an 88% and that got rid of the green fraying around the edge. You can also do a transparency you can make it completely disappear so what I want to do is this is my my end control point and this is where it starts I like the idea that it's starting a little bit off screen so I'm just gonna go over here and this is where the beginning control point and I want to just pull it over here a little bit and this way it starts off off screen right there I'm at the last control point now and I'm going to br bring this down and so the computer is kind of down here so I'm going to have to make it smaller so there we go we're making it smaller and just go into the model itself how about that so let's give that a shot and see how this looks Okay, so let's see how this works. So there we go. You see the the 3D logo starting off screen here. And then we're going to come in. I'm going to turn the volume down. And then it goes into the computer 